Good day, Grade 8, and welcome to your English class. This is Quarter 2, Module 4, Comparing and Contrasting Your Own Opinions. And this is our most essential learning competency or MELCs in this lesson. Compare and contrast your own opinion with those presented in familiar text. Here are the objectives in this lesson. 1. Identify the statements that show comparison and contrast. 2. Compare and contrast the similarities of Asian cultures. 3. Express opinions by showing comparison and contrast supported by evidences from given text. And 4. Appreciate Asian cultures and values through writing. You have learned about multimodal text in the previous module. Before you start with a new lesson, try to recall the important concepts on the use of multimodal text. Now, you review and do the following activities. What's in? Look at the brochure and infographic below. Then, let's do the next activity. Here are the directions. Fill in the concept map with the descriptions of the similarities and differences of each multimodal text. Cut it out, then paste it inside the concept map. This is the concept map, and here are the descriptions. Charts and data, colorful images, large print pictures, presenting idea, notice of advertisement, and written language. You only have one minute to finish this task. Now let's check. Again, here is the concept map. If these are your answers, then definitely you are correct. The differences between brochure and infographics are Brochure contains large print pictures and notice of advertisement while infographics contain charts and data and colorful images. And their similarities are both multimodal text are presenting idea and both have written language. Moving on, what's new? You have just learned the use of multimodal text in describing similarities and differences from the previous lesson. Now, you will be learning on how to Compare and contrast Now let's play! This activity will help you assess your understanding of the topic. Directions Identify the similarities and differences of the following pictures. Copy your answer inside the word pool and write it on the space provided. You only have one minute suggested time to finish this game. 20 seconds in each picture. This is the word pool. It contains the words fruit, tall, big, small, animal, red, girl, short, and orange. Let's begin with picture number one. Next is picture number two. And last, picture number three. Now let's check. Picture number one. The similarity of the images is that they are both animals, while their difference is the other one is big and the other one is small. Picture number two. The similarity of the images is that they are both fruits, while their difference is their color. The other one is red, and the other one is orange. Let's proceed to picture number 3. The similarity of the images is that they are both girls, while their difference is their height. The other one is tall, and the other one is short. You are all correct! Congratulations, learners! You are all amazing! Now, let's go over and read closely the story entitled My Thai Cat. Take note of the culture, beliefs, and practices of Thais 
and Story Summary presented in the flowchart. My Thai Cat A Siamese cat was given by a friend of Zhang's father. Zhang named the cat Sea Sword. Zhang recalled a time when his cat was elected by the villagers as the Rain Queen because of what the cat did during the drought in 1925. There was a time when the villagers were so desperate for rain, so they performed the old Brahmo Buddhist rain ceremony called the Nang Mao, the Queen of Cats. The ceremony had been performed by the peasants since time immemorial. However, nothing happened. One day, an old lady visited Zeng's father to ask Cesar's help for rain. At first, Zeng was hesitant because he thought that Cesar might be killed for an offering. As a tradition, to refuse the will or command of the father was a grave sin. Fortunately, his father understood Zeng's feeling, so he did not let the Siamese cat die for an offering. Nevertheless, they continued the ceremony. Cesard was put inside a cage and was supplied with perfume. The cat misbehaved, but was later calmed down when Zeng approached it. During the ceremony, the cat fell asleep. The villagers offered their chant until the Siamese cat fell asleep for three days. Then, days went by. Rain fell. Since then, Cesard was elected as the rain queen of their village. Now, using a Venn diagram, let's appreciate diversity. The Venn diagram below presents the similarities and differences of traditional practices between Thais and Filipinos. Thais worship cats to ask for rain, while Filipinos pray for rain without any offering. Thais, in like manner with Filipinos, believe in the power of prayer. What is it? In the previous part of the module, you have observed that the concept map and the images are used in the previous activity in order to identify and present what are the similarities and differences of different multimodal texts. To do that, comparing and contrasting is necessary to understand the similarities and differences. But the questions are, what is comparing and contrasting? Why do we need to compare and contrast? How do we make an opinion from the similarities and differences between things or ideas as guided by evidences? Let's begin with the first question. What is comparing and contrasting? Comparing is showing the similarities of two things or ideas with the use of appropriate transition signals. These are the word signals. In like manner, the same with, also, in a like manner, in a similar way, in the same manner, likewise and similarly. Example in Thai's tradition, to refuse the will or command of the father is a grave sin. In like manner, Filipinos believe that disobeying and disrespecting parents are great sins. Contrasting is showing the differences between two things or ideas with the use of appropriate transition signals. These are the word signals. However, while, even though, but, however, in contrast, nevertheless, otherwise, yet, though, instead, and on the other hand. Example, Thais offer cats as instrument to ask for rain. However, Filipinos do not. Let's proceed to question number two. Why do we need to compare and contrast things and ideas? We need to compare and contrast to point out similarities and differences of ideas especially 
and taking a stand or in giving opinion on certain topics or issues presented in given text. There are many ways to note and present similarities and differences of any expository text by using nonlinear text such as graphic organizers. The most commonly used graphic organizer is Venn diagram. From there, you can write linear text such as paragraphs in order to communicate similarities and differences and then your opinion. The story of the Thai cat is an example of an expository text because it presents factual information based on history of a certain place where you can make your own opinion based from your observation or reading. In short, it is an evidence that reflects the Thai culture. Moving on to the third question. How do we make an opinion from the similarities and differences between things or ideas as guided by evidences? It was discussed that the story entitled My Thai Cat is an example of an expository text. It is considered as an evidence to show the culture of Thais, since it presents facts. It can be used as an evidence to make your opinion based from what you have learned about their beliefs and traditions and compare it to our culture as Filipinos. This is an example of an opinion taken from the expository text presented through the comparison and contrast. The way I see the traditions and practices of Thailand and Philippines, I believe that the Thai's manner of obeying the will or command of parents is of importance to them. In like manner, we Filipinos show great respect to elders. When Thai sprays for rain, they offer cats. In contrary, Filipinos do not. Thai Buddhists worship Buddha, while most of the Filipino Christians worship Jesus Christ. On that note, I have no doubt that Thai culture is unique on its own just like ours. The above paragraph is an example of an opinion expressed using comparison and contrast. Therefore, an opinion refers to a view or judgment formed in the mind about a particular topic or issue. What's more? Now that you have learned about comparing, contrasting, and writing your own opinions through the use of transition signals, it is time to find out whether or not you have understood the lesson. The activities that follow will help you assess your understanding of the topic. Statement number one. Thais offer cats to ask for rain. On the other hand, Filipinos do not. Statement number two. Filipinos worship God, while Thais worship Buddha. Statement number three. Thais have deep religious faith similar to the Filipinos. Statement number four. Compared to the Thais, Filipinos believe in the power of prayer. Statement number 5. Thai Buddhists believe in reincarnation is in contrast with that of Filipino Christians. What I have learned. To sum it up, in order for you to compare and contrast your own opinion based on a given familiar text, first, you must identify the similarities and differences. Second, take note of the similarities and differences with the transition signals used in comparing and contrasting. And last, compare and contrast your opinion based from evidences gathered or presented. Being heroic. In your own experience, can you identify a person whom you consider a hero? You are going to state your own opinions as to why you consider that person as such. And that ends our lesson for today. See you again next time. Bye!